Okay, let's quickly walk through an example of using machine simulation uh, on a Thermwood router. So I've just got a uh, part drawn on the screen, nothing special, right? And notice that uh, I've got my stock set up through the stock setup in MasterCam, right? That's done here. Um, and then as far as my levels manager goes, um, I have the part on level one here. And then I've got this fixture plate that I want in my simulation on level 100. All right. So let's go to our machine tab and I'll click this little down arrow, which gets me into the options. Otherwise, it'll just run the machine with the default setup. So I'm going to go into this little arrow here. And I want to pick my router or my machine. In this case, it's a Thermwood router. And this was the, the simulation I built. Um, and then, so for our workpiece, uh, we can go, basically we can do a couple different things. And in this case, we know that our workpiece is that, that orange model, right? So that's the workpiece. So I'll hit end. Uh, and then position, we can leave it automatic. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like because of how I built the machine off that front center. And then we'll go in and, and look at that a little further in depth. Depth For the fixture, I want to pull that from level 100. So that you see that shows right up in the drop down here. And then stock, I can either not use stock, I can use the master cam stock definition, or I could have had it defined on a level here. I have it defined uh, with this master cam stock definition. So right now I'm just going to leave it at that okay, and hit simulate and we'll see what we get and we may have to revise a few things. Now keep in mind in machine simulation right uh, there's also you can go in and uh, in this model I turn that housing as machine housing so you can either make it uh, transparent get rid of it all together so you can see the spindle or turn it on solid. I'll leave it transparent because we still want to see if we if we gouge against that. Uh, and what you'll notice is Mastercam makes its best guess as to where that part should be. And that is far from ideal, right? Because the zero point of the machine is right here on the on the uh, corner, it tries to center the workpiece there, which is not what we want to do. We want to move that workpiece down towards the center here. So let's, let's X out of here and, and try that again. Uh, one thing you'll notice if you X out and then you try to relaunch, you'll often get this error. Don't worry about that. Just wait a few seconds. It's still discarding. Let it do its thing. Give it a little bit. Um, and then we'll relaunch that. Before we do that, I want to do a quick analyze on this fixture plate. And I'll see that that is 22 by... Uh, let's see, 22 by 40, okay? So I've got to at least move it 11 inches in Y and uh, 20 inches in X, but maybe you have it further off the corner than that. So let's go back into machine simulation here. And instead of using automatic, let's use translation. Now you'll see it kind of automatically finds the extents and moves it into the machine but I know that I'm two inches more in X than what I have, and I'm two inches more in Y than what I have, all right? So we'll leave all that alone, and now we can hit simulate again, and this should relocate it in a better position on the machine. And it did not, because it's still grabbing off that corner, sorry. I. I said the wrong thing there. When we hit automatic, oh, and I hit that too quick. When we hit automatic, those are the values that are in that setting um, right from the get-go. And that's probably some of the issues you're running into. So instead I need to go the full amount. So let's go, let's go X, uh, oh, and that was part of the issue. I want to go positive. There's my issue right there. So I want to go 
in x we were 20 inches so I want to go positive 20 inches and positive 12 inches that was where my issue was the z value looked okay it did a pretty good estimation there it's the the thickness of the fixture plate is one inch so it moved it up one inch so that it's actually sitting on the table so I'll re-simulate that again and these are kind of the the getches when you're coming into a machine simulation that's kind of why I wanted to go through these so now you'll see we move that part all the way over um, and just so just playing with those numbers and I should have went half that amount it looks like because zero zero if I had zeroed out those values it would put that directly in the corner so let's do that one more time just so that there's a clear understanding of what those values are doing because this messes me up as well so I'll give it a few seconds to to kill the simulation there oh. Still not ready. All right, let's try it now. Still not ready. Okay, there it goes. So let's go show you what zero zero looks like. Hit simulate again. And you'll see that it lined up right with the corner of there. It basically took I go back, if I look at master cam here, it took that zero, zero point. Let's go back into here, and it lined it up with the zero, zero point of the machine. Okay, now, as I was talking about before, we have the machine housing button. I'll leave that transparent. We can also turn on and off the workpiece. Uh, we can turn off the stock and make it translucent. Uh, you can turn off the tool if you want. Obviously, I think it makes the most sense to have the tool visible. And now when we hit, I'm going to turn the simulation speed down a little bit. When we hit run, now you're properly located on the machine. Now the other thing I wanted to point out here is in the view tab, there's a lot of these different windows. If you turn all these on, it really messes up your graphics window. So really you only want the things active that you're using, uh, maybe the move list, maybe the axis control um, but you don't need all that stuff active in your window and I don't even want I don't even need the machine tab yeah, so I can shut all these off right, we don't need to look at those but now you got a pretty good feel for what that machine's going to do cutting around that part uh, I think if I turn on stock, you can actually see it's actually giving you like a verification of the stock removal as well. So you can see what's happening in real time with stock removal on the machine. So we can speed this up as we want. I could turn on initial stock if I want to do too, so I can see the cuts. But that's realistically how you should be uh, using machine simulation to get you know, the proper results out of it. So you can see that last move. And you'll notice that I didn't go uh, deep enough to cut through down to my uh, fixture, which so that's something we could address. That's something that the uh, machine simulation is telling me here. So I hope that I uh, hope you find that useful.